y'all welcome back to the channel my name is jazz if you guys don't know i create lifestyle videos and showing you guys products that i use in my everyday life as you can see today we're going to be doing a diy project i've been putting this off for a while now so you guys probably seen this in other vlogs if you follow me but today's the day i'm just going to go ahead and get started with it so um i'm going to be trying this textured wall art for my room i'm trying to do more um kind of like room decor the remodeling and stuff i've never i don't want to say never i haven't completed or found the vision that i really wanted because there's i gotta do it in segments if you guys have watched my series that i've been doing one portion i worked on of course like the bedding changing the colors i did some repainting over there well this if you guys have not seen that check out the other videos when i installed this mirror did the painting and all that so you guys can check out that series if you have not seen that but the next portion i want to work on is this side of the wall so you guys probably seen this from that fall um get ready with me video i do like this stuff but i'm trying to figure out i want something with feathers i like that black gray like the black and gray to match this the white i need to get new spreads because they get stained so easily especially from like clothes and stuff like i really hate that and i never got the pillows that i wanted but i'm gonna still do that on another video once it gets a little bit colder probably because i feel like i don't know why but i feel like home decor and stuff i want to do that more on like the winter fall seasons um so the bedding and all that's going to be a little bit when it gets more colder and stuff like that but now i'm going to work on some of the painting because all this stuff i haven't done this this whole side and then this side of the wall so when i figure out my style i get that together um these pictures i'm actually going to take off and put on my bookshelf i want to keep this light because I, I do like this, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put it on. So it creates like this little vibe you can see when I have it on. But I know I have to take everything off just to paint it. It still works great, so maybe I can put it on the fireplace or maybe on that thing. I'm not quite for certain because, it, like I said, it is a vibe, especially with that light on at night. But I'm gonna be putting the paintings there. At first, I thought only two of them, but... I might be able to do all three. Let me see. Hopefully I don't knock anything over. I'm messing up the, the stuff already, but it's okay. They're small, so I might I might just do the three, to be honest. I thought they were going to look a little bit bigger. But let me see if I can lay it flat so you guys can see without it falling. So picture that there. Oh, yeah, I can fit all three right there, probably. The lights are probably going to come down. I still don't know what I'm going to do with the lights, but I really do love them. So I have to figure out what to do with those lights. And I want to take the pictures down because I'm trying to make this more of a different vibe in my room. Um, I had these from when I went, was in college and stuff but you guys will see it so for now let me stop all the rambling and babbling and all that stuff and we're gonna um get started with the project upstairs I'll show you guys let me show you the tools actually everything that I'll be using so we got the three-piece canvas like I said we got some joint wall compound some people say spackle or whatever thing might work I'm not for certain if it really matters or not but my mom did get a huge tub that I'll show you in case we run out because she's doing a project as well if you want to check out her channel and with mine, I'm going to be using some gold flakes on it. I got the glue that I, you need the glue for the flakes as well. And then I got some black paint because, like I said, I'm going with that theme. So a little bit of the black and gold. And then I have a flat tool upstairs, but then I have this one to create those. You ever see those little swirl things? You know what I'm trying to say? I can't do it with this hand, but, you know, the swirls is going to be something like that. But I got to figure out kind of like the design it was so you guys will get the idea but i just want to show you all the you know the tools and what are these things called that ingredients supplies and yeah let's get started with it
right, so guys, last time I made the mistake and put layers on too thick. So you gotta remember to stir it first to get it nice and smooth, if you guys can see. That was the mistake I did. I saw some other people do it. Try to get it smooth, and then you can put it on and kind of spread it more, but do a thin layer. But I'm gonna show you guys the final result because you guys see me do all of them already. I'm gonna be following the same steps, but just making a thinner layer and spreading this a little bit more with, you know, mixing that, making it thin. It makes it so much easier. Okay, so I finally finished the painting. Now it's actually Vlogmas season, so I figured I would upload this video for you for Vlogmas and share a little recipe with you guys, since it is that season, as you can tell by my tree. But let me show you the artwork and how I'm gonna hang it, basically. So you guys seen them all finish. They'll be spaced out somewhat like this up on the wall. All I'm gonna use is some command strips to basically hang it up on that wall there. It'll be super easy, just like anything else that I've hung up on the wall. Take a look and see. Told you. It brings it out. Mm -hmm. I gotta move that area too, but don't worry about it. Okay, we're just focusing on the wall today. So I'm bringing in the black and uh, gold and stuff, the white. So then I have the grays, like marble type stuff. And, you know, I'm getting rid of that, probably that light. I think I am. Gonna get some. I know I like it. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. 
Maybe I'll paint the legs black or something. Something like that, maybe. But I'm trying to bring in like that the blacks and grays, making it actually look nice. Because I have a lot of black furniture, and I don't want to change the colors. So I figured incorporating the colors and things like that would do it better, as you saw there. I got some of the grays and this lady. You can't really see because the, the ring light's right here. They can't see you. Oh. It looks blurry. <laughs> Oh god. But so yeah, like I was saying, <laughs> I'm going to get other decor later and I'm going to be decorating my mantle another time, but I'm just like putting this there just so you guys can get an idea. It's not going to be empty when I actually finish it, but oh shoot. Chipping up the tripod. It looks nice. But yeah, just so you guys get the idea. No, you you said it right the first time. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so now that we finished this portion, because I have my lovely assistant helping me. I'm not her assistant, <laughs> bye. <laughs> so now I have to actually go to the store and get some milk so we can do our little Vlogmas treat. So let me run and get some milk real quick, and I'll show you guys the little recipe hack that I have for you guys. I might make it into a TikTok too, because those usually do good. You guys like the TikToks and shorts. But let's go to the store, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finally made it back home. I'm making me some sausage, and if you can't tell by this, as well as this, I'm making just some noodles and boils. Hopefully those noodles don't make you sick because you know I'm not supposed to eat that, but I just have a taste for it, just something plain. A little bit of that, not too much meat, but really the noodles with this. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. Yeah, I forgot to show you my plate. I didn't even eat it or finish it. It kind of looks gross on camera, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna make a s'mores milkshake. Basically, if I remember correctly, all you need is a cup of ice cream, a couple teaspoons of milk, some chocolate syrup, the s'mores flavored syrup if you want that in it, and some graham crackers and marshmallows, which I forgot. So you can use the big or the mini ones. The people, they actually kind of like use the torch or, you know, if you have the gas stove, you can burn the marshmallows. But I wonder if I could put these on broil and give it that same look. I might try that. I also want to turn this into a TikTok, so I might let you guys see the final little result or when I put it together so you guys can see that portion. But let me see. I wonder if I can put these on broil. I'm gonna try that. Don't knock it till you try it. No! Okay. I think I actually did something. Oh, it worked. Now I gotta get them out so they don't burn. That actually worked. You said 350, right? Now, I'm gonna make a TikTok out of this and you guys will see the final result when I try to make it look fancy. So I made it look really cute, but the only thing is, I'm not really eating all these marshmallows. I put like four, oh shit, like four marshmallows in here, just for the look of it. And I put protein in it, because I'm gonna need some protein in my system. Mmm, mmm. Mm -mm. I really don't eat sweets like that. Especially this chocolate. I think I need to put this in another cup. Yep, yeah, it's the chocolate. I just had to make it look pretty for Instagram, but I think it turned out okay. All right. Taste test to see how it really turned out. I taste all my protein. What the heck? Mm. Protein always gets better the more you drink it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this little portion of the vlog. Yes, 
I'm very honest with you guys, you know, when I'm trying things, especially foods and all that. This shake actually wasn't bad. I tried to make it cute for like Instagram and all the extra stuff. I usually don't put all that syrup and chocolate because it's like all the sugar. I don't eat it, but I know personally a lot of other people do and they just enjoy a little treat sometimes here and there. It's okay. And also with this, I'm not used to this type of milk. I went to the store. For some reason, a lot of my products have been like out of stock, like my certain butter I use and like the milk. So I had to use a regular lactose milk that was in the house. I'm kind of used to my oat milk, especially mix. Mi <sighs> I'm kind of used to my oat milk, especially mixing it with like my protein and stuff. So it's not bad. Protein, if you know, the more you drink it, the better to start to taste. Of course, you get used to the taste. So I guess I was just kind of thrown back by the amount of protein flavor that I had in this one. But I do like my protein, so I'm going to keep drinking it, of course. Mm. If I have not said, it is 24 more days until Christmas. I got shake all over my hand. But anyways, I hope you guys let me know if you like this DIY project. I hope you guys did like it. First time trying it, so of course you saw the little issues I had cracking and then certain parts with the flakes and stuff and the design. I should have did it thinner. All that blah 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 other stuff you guys know. It was my first time trying it. It actually turned out pretty cool. But now I know of course if I ever decide to redo it or anything, what I can do. Like I said, I am going to be doing stuff a little bit different. But I'm going to do another video too of doing the DIY for Christmas decorations on the mantle. So that's another video you guys got to look forward to. But outside of Christmas, I am probably going to put something else there. But I just didn't quite figure it out yet. Again, guys, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. Or recipes, I should say. Because I'm going to try to do... Maybe a recipe or show my food probably every vlog because you know we gotta eat every day. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of some of the foods and stuff that I actually eat on the day. Mainly shakes and stuff, but I'm gonna try to get some recipes in for you because you guys know, I'm, I don't wanna say I'm not a big eater, but that's where I gotta get my shakes in to get my stuff in, guys. And tomorrow, I'm actually gonna be headed to Bath & Body Works because they do have a sale. I don't know if you guys are going to catch it in time while I put this video up, but there's a sale on candles for only $9.99, so I have to make sure I go and get some because I've been waiting all year long for this. Every time I do it, I always say I'm going to get them, and I always miss the sale every single time, so hopefully I can catch that tomorrow. You guys will see a vlog of that with some other stuff and another cool, fun, tasty, delicious recipe. We'll see, but again, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. That's going to wrap up day two of Vlogmas, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.